What's up, everybody? Guys, I'm going to skip all that intro stuff because you already know what I'm going to say. By now, if you don't even know who I am, tough luck for you. But guys, listen to me. I want to get really serious right about now. I got some really, really, really terrible news, guys. I'm dying. Yeah, you heard me correctly. I'm dying. Now, I know what some of you are going to say. Man, what are you dying from? Is there not enough french fries in your refrigerator? Eating too many hamburgers? No, unfortunately, not from those things. I'm, I'm dying because Denmark got the shit whooped out of them. Yeah, yesterday was not the best day for Denmark. If you watched handball yesterday, I mean, th there was excitement in the air. You could, you could feel it. You could, the tension was so thick, you can cut it with James Fonda's butt knife. James Fonda? Who the? James Fonda's butt knife? What the f the hell? I'm not gonna lie, guys. I was shocked. I really, really was rooting for Denmark. I mean, granted, I still bleed red, white, and blue, but to watch Denmark just get manhandled by Spain last night, well, that just goes to show you, this is what happens when you don't scout and you don't do your homework. Or when you potentially think that this team's gonna be a pushover and we're just gonna easily breeze right on in and get us a gold medal. No, I kid, guys, but I know that's not the mentality, that's the, the way Danes think. I just think that Spain just was very powerful, and they just pretty much manhandled Denmark. I mean, they had their way with scoring goals all over the place, and there were even times Denmark was just shooting themselves in the foot. They were giving away fast breaks. They were giving away everything. So I'm not going to sit there and drill Denmark on that because, you know, it's not really fair to them. It's the same way that they can say when we sit out and watch football, we get all pissed off and mad when our respectable team loses. But another thing I'm dying of, and that's laughter. <laughs> yeah, some of you saw my video the other day, and basically, well, what it was, it was a hangout. It was one guy that was starting to hang out on Google, and I decided to join him. Now, me and the guy I told you before were really tight friends. And the subject came up about American girls. Now, before I even get any further into this, I gotta give you a disclaimer. There was no hurting of any American woman in this video or any of them for that matter. Now, somebody wrote me an instant message and they wanted to know, said, why are you dissing American girls? You're an American yourself. We're not all like that. Now, apparently from this instant message, I could tell this was a chick and she was highly upset. So let me just express something to you. Growing up, I have dated tons of girls, all of them pretty much American, unless they were from some other different part of the world, which I apparently at that time didn't even know. But one thing I can be totally honest with you about is that they all wanted something from me. It wasn't about them. You know, I had to go up and approach them in a certain way. I had to go up to them and be like, hey girl, your name must be Saran Wrap. I couldn't even go up to the girl and talk to her personally like one-on-one -on -one, say, hey, how you doing? It's because that mentality that men have to have something to prove to them. There's something that we have to do to impress you. And that's what it was all throughout my childhood, somewhat into my teenage years until I finally realized it's never gonna work that way. Even if I did have an expensive car, a six pack, and a big house on the hill, the chick would still want more. So after a while, I started to look elsewhere. I don't need to have all these material things to show who I am. So to that person, rest easy, okay? We weren't specifically talking about you, but I can tell you the fact that you're one of those people because you got really upset. So it just goes to show you, this is why I chose a European wife over an American wife. Again, there is nothing wrong with American women. I totally adore them. There are some that are just ridiculously hot and will bend over backwards and do everything a European woman can do. But again, again, the European women, they do not look at those materialistic things that make us who we are. They don't look at, well, he's a man, he shouldn't cry. Well, he's a man, he should have a six pack, he should go to the gym 20 hours a day. Well, he's a man, he should be able to take out the trash anytime I want to. And then when I come home, I can sit on the couch and eat bonbons. 